What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to do something different. We're going to show you two albums. These albums are kind of small. This is the 1986 Tops. So this is PC album, I think, 14 and 15. Uh, I hated this 86 Top set when it came out. It was one of my worst sets. I hated it so much. But you know what? I really like them autographed. I don't know why. They just look pretty awesome in these albums. But this is cool. I got Rob Piccolo. He's deceased. Carney Lansford's kind of hard to get. Tommy John's kind of hard to get. Jose Rio is kind of hard to get. So I've got some pretty good start on some of these guys. Some of these harder to get guys. So I like that. Glenn Davis is kind of harder to get. Kevin Bass charges. I was able to get some of these on eBay. Bob Lil Steve Smith is deceased. Dickie Thon's kind of hard to get. Bob Boone, I have never got him TTM. I sent him a year over a year ago, never got it back. I think Doug DeCensis charges now. Rick Cerrone will sign one at a time. Like I told you, there's nice Ted Simmons. I got that on eBay. Jesse Barfield, I think I got on eBay. I bought a team's, like a whole bunch of Cubs off one guy on eBay. So I was able to get some of these harder guys. Can't remember how many cards there were, but there were a bunch. Also included two Lee Smith autographs. He's like 20 a piece through the mail. I think I paid like 40 for all the cards for the Cubs. And it had some pretty good ones in it, so I went ahead and bought them. Tudor charges through the mail now. So like I said, I got a pretty good start here. Rick Honeycutt charges now. Jay Johnstone's deceased. Ken Howell's deceased. Tim Burke charges five through the mail now. Yeah, there's over 300, I think 324 of these. Still a long way to go. I think Dick Williams is the deceased Hall of Famer. It just amazes me when I hear some people, you know, like Brandon's got like 400 and some. That's that's a pretty amazing accomplishment. It's hard to get that many. Because a lot of these guys don't TTM. So they're not readily available, you know. you got to buy a bunch of these. Try to find it from those people that do in-person graphs or signings and stuff. And that gets really pricey after a while. Greg Booker's deceased. Garvey, I got him for five. But I think he raised his price to ten now. I think the Rangers is another one of those team sets I bought off that guy. He obviously was busting a 86 set, so I bought some of his teams. I lost a bit on a bunch of them, but I was able to get the Reds. So I got these two Concepcion's and Buddy Bell. He was hard for me to get, so I went ahead and bought it. And I got Dave Parker in there. I think the Eric Davis was also in there. I paid a pretty good penny for that because I like the Reds. I think I ended up paying like 50 bucks or or something. But like I said, it had all these good reds in it. I think uh, Wayne Kunchicki 
is deceased. For some reason I think Frank Pastore might be deceased too. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. There's a Roger Clemens I got in a trade. I'll have to have that sent off sometime. See if it's any good or not. It was a TTM back in like 86. There's uh, Don Baylor. He's deceased. I think Ray Miller's deceased now. I think he just died this summer. Got a Sparky on eBay. I think this is another one of those ones I went ahead and bought the almost the whole team set from that guy. Got Trammell, Whitaker, Morris, because I was a big uh, Tigers fan, too. My mom was from Michigan. We used to visit Michigan a lot, so I kind of always rooted for the Tigers. Had a couple Lance Parishes. Dave Collins. I liked him when he was with the Reds. Yeah, like I said, this is a... Uh, pretty nice album it's pretty cool when you can get this many cards and you get you know some decent players in there and start getting some harder guys you know it starts shaping or shaping up pretty good you know it's no longer just some random cards when you start getting over 300 it's a nice uh, phil necro i bought a huge lot of phil necros one time i think i paid like five dollars a card for them this is nice, uh, Will Clark. I always love these stickers. Not stickers, but, you know, the inserts. And yeah, we got some all-star cards back here. So, uh, that's the 86 set. Like I said, the album, this other album is really small, so I decided to go ahead and show you this other album, too, because we had time. Sorry, the camera's getting shaking around here. This is my Leaf album. You guys saw me, uh, if you watched my video earlier today, I had a Goose Gossage out of this. So this is nice. I'm starting to get some decent players like Kevin McReynolds, Ryan Sandberg. I got Viola. I paid $5 for that one. Sid Bream's a dollar a piece. I sent him five bucks for three, Bill Gollickson. Kent Herbeck's $5. I don't mind paying for these guys if, if it's, you know, reasonable price. Luckily, uh, Doug Jones was a great signer before he passed. I got a Sparky Anderson through the, or, uh, on eBay. There's nice Juan Gonzalez. So I got some pretty good stars. Hal Morris. Paid five for Reardon, ten for Dawson. Uh, McDowell, I think I paid five dollars for. Wade Boggs, I paid five dollars for. And then we got a Brian Holman and a John Crook. Here's my '90 Leaf set. I really need some '90 Leafs. So if you guys have some '90 Leafs you want to do blind trades with, go ahead and send them. Because I have ten '90 Leaf cards. They're my one of my favorite sets, and I don't have any at all hardly. So if you got some 90 Leafs, send them in. There's Jack Clark. He's kind of a tough autograph. I just bought two, or a Jack Clark today. And I bought two Bill Madlocks. One is the one that, with him and Wade Boggs, but it's only signed by him. So I figured I'd pay Wade to sign the other side. And I paid four bucks a piece for each of the cards. From somebody who just did a signing. They don't have a whole lot of leaf ones. I don't know if I did this one or not. I kind of felt like I had two pages there. Nice Sandberg. I think I got that in a lot. Because I wouldn't have paid him $10 to sign that because I don't have enough of those cards. 
I only like to send in for signings and stuff or, or pay guys like $10 for items that, you know, I already have like two, 300 cards for the set. I don't like to get them if they only have like 10 cards because it really means nothing to have, you know, the 11th card. But if you already have like 350, you don't mind paying $10 to a guy, then you have 351. You know, it's one step closer to completing it. But like I said, if you only have like 10 cards, you know, there's so many other guys I need. I don't need to spend $10 on a certain guy. All right, guys, that's what I got. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And like I said, if you want to do some blind trades, just send in, you know, up to eight, nine cards. And I'll send you cards back. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.